much are your coconuts? Uh, six zero. That is amazing. Hey, wow, he's gonna wrap it up in some newspaper for me. That's the first time I've ever got, yeah, something wrapped up in newspaper. Do Indian people like corn? Is that the system? System, made in future. system update? What's up everybody? Welcome to the beautiful beaches of Mumbai. Right now I'm actually talking to you guys from Juhu Beach and I actually had no intentions on filming. I was simply coming on out here to just enjoy the evening, the sunset here at the beach and see what the vibes were like because well, it's only my third day here in the country and I hadn't been to the beach yet and it said from my Airbnb it was only a 15 minute drive. Now, I came on out here and I am literally blown away. There are so many people, literally thousands of people out here on the beach. They're selling all kinds of street food. They got mats to rent, all kinds of cool stuff. And hey, what's up? <laughs> the Indian people, every time they see a camera, they like lose it. They love it so much and it's super nice. It's so welcoming to be here. But yeah, I wanted to just log on and show you guys my experiences here at the beach or my experience here at the beach because it is insane. It is completely different than any other beach I've ever been to in my life. Now, I'm actually quite surprised as well because the beach isn't um, yeah, too dirty like I actually saw in a few YouTube videos. This one here is actually quite clean and there are a lot of people out here. Okay, now I'm starting to see a, quite, a little bit of trash, but enjoy your time. <laughs> and yeah, as you can tell, there's all kinds of like little um, coconut stands and yeah, what is this? Like an icy stand? Let's actually come over here and see how much one of these coconuts cost because I could definitely go for some. Of course, hello. There has to be a chai guy here on the beach because we're in India. Hello, sir. How much are your coconuts? Uh, six zero. Six zero? Can I get one, please? These look amazing. Are these from, uh, from Mumbai? Yeah. Wow. This is gonna be my first coconut here in India. Let's check it out. Now this is one thing that do taste different everywhere in the world. Wow, that has a lot of water inside, huh? Thank you, sir. This is one thing that definitely um, looks different everywhere you go in the world. The coconuts. Coconuts always look different. They always taste different. So let's go ahead and try our first coconut here in India. Wow, that's delicious. That is a good coconut. Okay, so there's not as much um, water inside of there as I thought there was, but it is good. Okay, refreshing. Now, I'm not sure if they actually cut this one up and so that you can eat the inside, but that was good. That was exactly what we needed. You know what, let's go ahead and put this bad boy right here. Thank you. Welcome. Wow, what a way to start this video, right? Now, it's quite different here. Some people right away when they see the camera, as I mentioned, they like to talk, but then there's also some people that are just not so talkative, just like everywhere else in the world. But let's see what else we can come across. Let's see if we can actually get some good interactions. But overall, I just wanna show you guys the vibes I mean, a lot of people don't think of the beaches when they think of India, unless you're like speaking of Goa. For some reason, Goa seems to be the popular destination here in the country for the beaches. And I actually don't think I'm going to be making it there because I'm working my way up north from here. However, we got to leave some room to come back, right guys? Wow, look, we got some people slacklining over here. Let's go check them out. Now the sun is setting. There's not much of a sunset, but there is that nice glow. Let's come over here and check out these um, slack liners. Seems like everywhere you go in the world nowadays, there's people slack lining. Oh, there he goes. Let me not interrupt him. Wow, dude, that's sick. How are you guys? What's your name? Rishad. Rishad? Chris. 
What's your? Chris. Chris, Chris. Where are you from? Akash. Nice to meet you guys. Man, that's so cool. I'm from the US, from California. California. Yeah. We have a lot of people that slackline too at the beach. You too? No, not me. In Los Angeles though, there's a lot of people that do it. How many years have you been doing this? Wow. Seven months, I guess. Dang, you guys are good. Thank you. Wow, cool. Is it not popular in India? No. How'd you learn? Uh, From YouTube? Yes, by watching the videos of your, your country. Wow. <laughs> yeah, um, for those of you guys who have watched my videos in Santa Monica and in Venice Beach, they do slackline all the time. But you guys are good. I'm just learning. <laughs> yes. There's no way I could balance on a slackline like that. Wow. That is amazing. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section. That looks pretty damn good for six months. Well, I'll let you guys get back to training. Hey, I wish you the best. Nice thank meeting you. Welcome. Take care, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that was insane, right? Six months. Six months and they can do all that that is crazy so yeah let's continue on with our little walk let's see what this gentleman is here selling shall we hello sir what are you selling samosas samosa what's inside 10 rupees see one 10 rupees for one okay let me get one i take one thank you Let's get one, why not? We gotta support the local economy. Wow, he's gonna wrap it up in some newspaper for me. That's the first time I've ever got, yeah, something wrapped up in newspaper. What is this, spicy sauce? It's spicy. Okay, just a little bit. Oh man, thank you, that looks delicious. Here you go, sir. Oh, I mean, I dropped the camera, there you go. Thank you, sir. Wow. Samosa on the beach and guys it's wrapped in newspaper now nah, the newspaper doesn't smell the cleanest it actually takes the smell away from the samosa but we're gonna go ahead and try our 10 cent or 10 rupee samosa which is actually not a big difference from yeah 10 cents neither hello wow this is actually my first samosa here in india and it's on the beach and it came wrapped in newspaper you can't really go wrong or can you Holy shit. That's so spicy. Oh man, that's hella spicy. Spicy, spicy food. Well, how are you guys? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you guys from India? Yeah. India. Yes, yes, yes. Where, Mumbai? Mumbai. Oh man, that that was so spicy. Oh, so you're from Mumbai? Enjoy, enjoy. Mumbai. Yeah. I'm from I'm from uh, U.S. California. U.S. California. Mm -hmm. Okay. I came to visit Mumbai. <laughs> Mumbai. I came to visit India. Acha, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you? Yeah, I and you same India. Are you vlogging? Yeah. Oh, nice. What's up, everybody? You have YouTube channel? Oh, you want to take picture? Let's take a picture. Hey, thank you, brother. Enjoy your time at the beach. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your time. Hey. I'm vlogging them and they're vlogging me. How cool, huh? So yeah, guys. Oh man, that samosa was incredibly spicy. I actually, that was some of the most spiciest um, anything that I've had in a very long time. I actually need a water right now or another one of those coconuts. Oof, my whole lips are on fire. Oh man, yeah. I don't know, next time someone says, do you want spicy here in India? I'm gonna have to double think it. Hello. I'm gonna have to double think it because that one was definitely a little too hot for my liking. Hello, sir. He was selling some nuts. Here in India, I've been noticing that selling nuts, um, almonds and things of that nature can be found everywhere. Oh, I even got the hiccups now. Oh man. But yeah, a lot of families out at the beach. There's also a lot of people doing exercises. Look. They're flying kites. They've got their dogs out here. These people actually sitting down look like they might be foreigners. Now, Mumbai is also one of those cities that has a large expat community. A lot of people come from different parts of the world to live here in this city. 
because there's also a lot of international companies that can be found here a lot of the um fortune 500 companies actually have huge bases here in mumbai so there's people from all around the world here now personally i haven't seen any tourists at all we've been staying pretty much around the juhu beach area for the last three days in about two days we're going to be heading over to yeah, I don't even know what that area is called, but like near the Marine Drive area, near the Crawford Market area. And we'll be spending a few days over in that direction. But for now, yeah, we decided to stay, stay in this region to explore this side. And I think it's been quite worth it because no one has really bothered us too much. A lot of people told us that we needed to look out for scams and like, you know, people trying to hustle the tourists. But that actually hasn't happened to us at all. We've been enjoying our time here. Now, Gladys is actually walking around freely right now don't know where she's at but hopefully i don't lose her and she comes back soon she was actually making a video for you guys as well oh man i seriously cannot believe how spicy that samosa was that was the most spicy yeah that's why he told me be careful with that sauce that is brutal super spicy But yeah, you can definitely tell it's low tide right now. I mean, look at the water marks. You can tell it has gone back quite far. Now here on the beaches, along with the street food, what I also noticed when I first walked on is that there are a lot of like amusement park rides out here as well. There's a lot of um, kids playing on these like roller coasters that are actually like wheeled out here by um, gentlemen who do that for a living. And it's quite impressive. I can't say that I jump on one of those things, but they look pretty fun oh man look you got this gentleman now selling ice cream how good does that look or sound right now but i definitely need some water i could use some water or another coconut at the moment now to the untrained eye you can walk around and miss a lot of things that are happening around here but that is exactly why i'd like to connect with some of you guys that watch these videos to come on out here with the local and catch up on all of these things that I might be missing because I've seen some people playing cards. Um, I see people selling chai, which is amazing. I've had probably five, cu five cups of chai today. And let me tell you something. The chai that you get on the street is so much more better than any chai you'll purchase from like a, a small coffee shop around here. Uh, oh, look, they're selling the Pani Puri. Wow. Oh, those are cool. Look at the little airplanes. You know what? Maybe we can wash this spiciness down with the corn. Hello. How much are your corns? Oh, oh, the sparks are coming my way. You said the small one's 30? Okay, let me get one for 30. Yeah, please. Oh, wow. He's going to toast it up nice and nice and crispy for me beautiful day today huh very nice day you don't like it yeah yeah it's nice huh good vibes do do indian people like corn sweet corn, sweet corn yeah i like the sweet corn as well here you go sir there's 30 rupees you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Now his system that he has is quite nice. Like he has a battery right here that you... Is this for light? Yeah. Wow, cool. LED. Sophisticated corn man. I like it. Wow, that is awesome. Do you sell all the corns in one day? I wish Gladys was around here right now because she definitely loves eating these corns. Can't seem to find her and I have a feeling that it's going to be quite hard to find her as well because there are so many people out there on that beach right now.
What was that? Um, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Vlogging, bro. YouTube? YouTube, yeah. Travel with Chris. Are you from here? Yeah. Wow, the beautiful city. I like it so much. Same. Do you, do you guys love eating the sweet corn? Yeah. It's nice, huh? Yeah. Wow, he put some uh, lemon on there. Oh man, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Is this you? Yep, that's me. Subscribe. Yeah, thank you. Subscribe. The India videos are starting next week. Uh, let me know. Let, let me know in the comments that you met me here. Oh, yeah. What was your name? Arjun. Oh man, hold on. Let me shake your hand real quick. Oh, nice to meet you, bro. You too. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah, Indian people love YouTube. It's amazing to see too, because where I come from, you know, people could really care less about YouTube. And yeah, I don't know exactly why that is, because I definitely love it a lot as well. Wow, this man has a scale on the beach. Hello. Wow, that's a cool system, huh? So what does this do? You check my, you check weight? And what's the camera for? Two lines future. Huh? Two lines future. Oh, okay. How much is it? 10 rupees. 10 rupees? I've never seen a scale at the beach. Yeah, let's take a picture, bro. Hey. Thanks a lot, bro. Love hey. Tattoos. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to step on your scale. Let's try it. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm going to do with the scale and the corn, but... This is interesting, so I can't just, yeah, skip this opportunity. I've never seen one of these before at the beach, so I definitely got to step on this one. Okay, let me try and hold the camera without dropping it. And let's see. Is that the system? System update? Electronic system. I like that electronic system. Yeah, it looks cool. Okay, well, you know what? While he gets the um, software update on his scale system, let's try the corn. Mm. That is good. That is good. Hey, you guys again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my weight. Oh, you check weight. Yeah, I'm getting fat in India. Oh, too, much, okay. too much, too uh, much chicken tikka. Oh, chicken yeah, tikka. Chicken yeah. tikka. Okay. You like it? Yeah, oh. yeah. I'm biryani. <laughs> ah, biryani man. Oh, you're the biryani man everybody's I'm talking biryani. about. I'm eating biryani. You're, you're a chicken biryani man. Okay, okay. I like the biryani man. Yeah. I can get down with a biryani man. You also check check biryani? Yeah, I love biryani. Oh. I love biryani. I love naan. Yeah. Naan is amazing. I think he's having problems with the scale, huh? Yeah. Okay, I come back, sir. Thank you. Well, enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Nice seeing you again. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Software problems with the scale. We're gonna have to continue now. Continue on munching on this corn. Hey, this corn? It's one of the better corns I've ever had in my life. I'm not, not even gonna cap with you guys. It is good. It has um, some masala on top, a little bit of lime. I approve. Now, as far as where, the hunt just continues. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for at the moment. I'm just kind of chilling, going with the vibes. Glad it should be around here somewhere. It definitely looks like we're getting into like the busier sections of, of the beach. But for all of you Indians watching, let me know. Do you guys like this corn? And for all of you guys that have never been here before, let me know what you guys think of the corn. Do you approve? It definitely tastes approvable. And I'm sure even on camera, it looks approvable as well. The only thing I don't approve of is that it is all in between my teeth. But, you know what guys? Oh, these men sell kites. Well, you know what? I think this is actually going to be the end of this video. It's starting to get extremely dark out here. I think these little random videos make for the best ones. I wasn't expecting to spend an evening here on the beach here in Mumbai, let alone make a video about, yeah, everything I'm finding here. But we did, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely enjoyable for me. 
There's a lot going on. The cotton candy man. But for now, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to smash that subscribe button. Man, I got corn all up in my teeth now. Smash that subscribe button and make sure to check out my shorts channel because I've been posting a lot of short videos of India on there. And for now, I'm gonna go look for Gladys. Later, guys. You were always smarter. I was the one.